Welcome, my Virgo loves. It's that time again, y'all. I missed y'all. So let's do a quick energy check. All right, so today's affirmation, I am always supplied with whatever I need. Take a look at your life so far and acknowledge how many things you have overcome all because you were supplied with what you need at the time. Ooh, baby, who is this taking life for granted? No, we ain't gonna do that. Wait a minute. Not my loves. No, no, no. Okay, so today I am called on green fluorite, a healing crystal. And this crystal heals the heart chakra and it transmute negative transmutes negative energy into positive energy okay so somebody needs that okay especially if somebody is not why am i stuttering okay especially if someone is not acknowledging that the universe is supplying us with everything we need also drake too much is the vibes that is your channel song for this reading don't think about it too much Okay, if you know the song, then you know the song. Um, one of the things that always sticks out to me about that song, it, it's kind of telling you to relax and is what I'm taking away from that or feeling with that song right now. So, Virgo, I hope everybody is happy, healthy, and well, as always. I pray that we're all doing our best. Ooh, this ain't even supposed to be out here. I'm going to put that. It is, but it ain't. I'm going to put that over here in the deck. Where it go? Um, okay, let's see. What's the tea, baby? Let's go ahead and see what's the tea. What's going on in your energy right now, Virgo? 212 on the timer. These may be things you already know. Some of these things you may not know. Some of these things may be confirmations or something you were already feeling in your energy. I don't know. Let me know down in the comment how it resonates. Thank you to everybody that is subscribed to the channel, that interacts and supports the channel. Thank you to everybody that places orders. Thank you to everybody that leaves compliments and comments that are uplifting for our family. It takes more than just me. We have been called to come together after someone left us you know may have been more than one someone they counted us out but like the phoenix we rose from the ashes and you know one thing about a virgo perfection is on the list of all things all right spirit at this time please show virgo what we need to know for this reading all right well that one didn't flip out so we're not going to take it Okay, so y'all, we got photo proof getting evidence, okay? So someone may see some type of photo proof. We have dirty offer in reverse. And we have ego. Ego, hurt, ego, ego getting in the way of relationship, etc. At the bottom of the deck, we have grudge holder. Y'all, you may be dealing with... Hmm, is it cancer? It might be cancer. No, you may be dealing with a Leo. Ego and grudge holder came out. Um, go watch that and see if it resonates with you. But um, they're not in the same exact placements, but they both came out in that order. Ego came out before grudge holder. So someone is in your energy that shouldn't be. Let's say that. <clears throat> You may know this person. You may know that this person is in your energy. You may not know that this person is in your energy. So I say to you the same thing I said to Leo. Cleanse your energy. Um, what I didn't say to them is do a cord cutting ritual. It's not hard, baby. I think I said I was going to put one up last week. And um, time got away from me. But I will definitely be leaning toward it. Because, you know, a lot of things are coming back around at this time 
All right, Spirit, what do we need to know about photo proof? Someone getting evidence. Show us what we need to know from our Virgo loves. Ooh, the Emperor. Okay, so there is an Emperor, maybe an Aries. They're going to see some kind of photo proof or they themselves are getting photo proof of something. I don't know what this got to do with y'all, but it got, it's something that the universe wants y'all to know. So it's coming out now. Now's the time. A lot of things have changed since, um, you know, Libra season put a lot of things in the balance. Spirit, tell me about dirty offer in reverse. The moon, something that was hidden. Um, what is that? Cancerian, Piscean energy. You could have Scorpio. How did I say Scorpio? That was not what I meant to say. I meant to say Pisces or Cancer energy. Um, Pisces or Cancer in your chart. Ooh, somebody got a brain fog, y'all, because I don't know where that came from. Spirit, tell me about ego for Virgo. We got the Six of Swords in reverse, okay? So somebody upset that they ain't winning. They are not winning. <laughs> oh, y'all. It's somebody you left behind. At the bottom of the deck, we got the five of cups. Somebody's crying over spilled milk. But this act this card actually says bye, bitch. So and and this person is very happy, happily moving on. So somebody is happy to be out of a cycle with some cycle. C Y C L E. I don't know why I thought I heard myself say psycho. So someone may be dealing with a psycho. I look what comes out in the readings, y'all, is what it's supposed to be. If this is your first time over here, we are channeling Virgo energy overall. So this card is not in the deck, y'all. But that is the overall energy we are asking the universe to tell us about and enlighten us on at this time. So what we will do is see what kind of zodiac signs may be in your energy it could be someone has this in their chart or they could even be embodying that energy to get the job done 717 on the timer so it just depends you know always pray about it take what resonates leave the rest behind because we don't want to do nothing with it if it don't belong to us leave it for somebody else spirit show virgo what we need to know at this time you may be dealing with a pisces i did say pisces earlier i was trying to say pisces and cancer for the moon so yeah definitely happy on the pisces right now um <clears throat> spirit what about dirty offer and moon and well dirty offer in reverse in the moon upright the moon also in this deck in the zodiac oracle deck the moon represents mother issues so this could also be uh, a mother figure either in your energy um or associated with you so i'll just put that out there because i am using this deck we have sun energy what is sun it is to me fire energy but let's read the book and see because i don't always read it y'all know me I, i'm gonna grab this book and i'm gonna tell y'all what i need to what i need to say what's sun 13 I ain't going to make this too long, y'all. I just was missing y'all. I wanted to check the energies. Sun, the sun is strongly associated with your birthday. The day you came into being, it represents your need to express your sense of self. Other issues involving variations of this, such as self-image, self-esteem, individuality, identity, and personal creativity, ideas about paternal figures, and authority must be indicated when the sun appears what did i just tell y'all this may be somebody's mother um or a mother figure in your energy it might not be your actual mother it could be your baby mama somebody like that it could be someone that raised you i don't know y'all Ooh, confirmation y'all spirit tell me about the the six of swords in reverse with the ego for virgo I guess it's going to come out at some point. It's got to. I told y'all it got to come out at some point. Scorpio. Um, someone may have Scorpio in their chart. You may be dealing with a Scorpio, baby. Let's see what we got.
Let's see. All right, let's go ahead and start 10 10 on a timer. Let's go ahead and start clarifying so that we can get down to the nitty and the gritty for my Virgos. My Virgo loves. I don't know why I'm having such a, a hard time putting them back together, but oh, somebody might not be able to put something back together, y'all. Somebody might be trying they in their ego because they can't put something back together. Ooh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Because somebody even got some proof. It, that's feeling like somebody that lied to somebody and they can't, uh-uh. They can't keep you in this state of, uh, what am I trying to say? What's the word I'm looking for, y'all? Ignorance. <laughs> I had to really stop moving. So something may not have been clear. And when you stopped and you thought about it, it was all clear to you is what I'm getting. I'm seeing this bright light shining through. Oh my gosh. 11, 11 on the timer, y'all. Something may be, may have been illuminated to you on, on 11, 11. Ball, y'all. I can't beat it. Y'all seen this card jump. I, it popped and I jumped. I was saying 11, 11. This is the 1111 card, the twin flame card. We're going to leave that out because Spirit must want us to see it. Out of these seven, eight cards in the deck, that's what came out. Okay. Say less, Lord. I'm listening. Sometimes you just got to sit down in that, that sense of solitude and hear what the universe is trying to tell you or trying to told y'all. <laughs> y'all know me. We country over here. I'm not country at all, y'all. For real, for real. Spirit. Please tell me about the emperor and this photo proof could be about a Pisces or this emperor may be a Pisces because they don't have to be an Aries. They could be an Aries with Pisces in their car. Oh, y'all, it's the eight of cups. Somebody walking away from whatever photo proof they done got. Oh, Lord. I mean, I don't, I don't wish any negativity on anybody ever, but I know we all go through our cycles. We all grow differently and at different rates and times. So, Spirit, tell me about the Eight of Cups, please. Ooh, King of Cups in reverse, y'all. Now, I don't want to speak on the King of Cups because that is a trigger for me. But if you know, then you know. The King of Cups is somebody that... um. It's a it's a person that is um very they should be under the jail bait, possibly. That's what I'm feeling. Okay. So something something is not right with this this individual that someone is getting photo proof on. And I don't like how this feels, y'all. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Spirit, tell me about the King of Cups in reverse. That fast my energy didn't change. I don't I don't like that. Mm, something is a heavy burden with the Ten of Wands. Spirit, what's the heavy burden? What's this heavy burden with this ten of this king of cups? What's the heavy heavy burden for this king of cups? They're crying over spilled milk with the five of cups. This is a lot of a lot of water energy, y'all. <clears throat> Pisces, eight of cups, king of cups, five of cups. That's a lot of water energy. So somebody is definitely in their feelings, Spirit. What are they in their feelings about? And the, the Scorpio is the King of Cups, but this person is in reverse. But this card came upright. I don't take them in the reverse, but it came out upright. So there may be more than one. Okay, y'all. Now, um, we have the Page of Coins and the Hanging Man, which is the Pisces card. Something was about a small offer. Okay. So let, let's see. Let's see, because I, I need to clarify this. Lord, something was in my eyeball, y'all. I'm sorry. Um, Spirit, tell me about the hanging man to in the, the page of coins. What is this about? Ooh, y'all. It's the Ten of Cups. Now, wait, let's talk about this, because baby, Virgo, talk to me nicely. Somebody about to have a Ten of Cups. Excuse me, y'all. Somebody had to let go of a King of Cups in reverse to get toward this Ten of Cups. 
yeah, it's a heavy burden for the tenant for the king of cups in reverse. But listen, F them. They don't deserve you. That's not what the universe has in store for you, spirit. Tell me about dirty offer in reverse with the moon and the sun, please. Oh, the page of swords. Somebody got a plan, baby. Somebody got a plan. I love it. I love that. Okay. What about the page of swords? All right. What is this about? Tell me more, please. Okay. So we got the eight of coins. Somebody is working. Baby, they working hard. They have mastered something. What did they master? Spirit, tell me about the eight of coins, please. This one wants to come out. I'm going to take it. The six of wands. Somebody wants a victory with you, baby. And you don't even know it. It's hidden. And I'm loving it. I'm skinning and grinning. I'm back happy again, y'all. Y'all can tell the difference in my voice. I know. I'm sorry. I'm a cancer. Y'all know me. I wear my I wear my feelings on my sleeves and my face, y'all. <laughs> I've been told by many. Mm, God has not delivered my face. But yeah, the six of wands, baby. That's the victory card. Uh-uh. Six of wands. Six of wands. Is that the victory card? Yeah. So let's see. Tell us about the six of wands, sir. Came in crossing. It has something to do with your ten of coins. Why is the ten of coins crossing, spirit? Or was that just how it how it moved? Why is it crossing? It won't be crossing once you get out your head. What's hidden? You're worried about something that the universe is working on behind the scenes, baby. You feel like either you're not going to get the offer or it's not going to be the offer that you want and you stuck in your head about it. But to be quite honest with y'all, I feel like this is a masculine, somebody embodying masculine energy. Now, y'all know I say all the time. There is no gender in tarot. So whoever is in the masculine energy wants to offer someone something. But at this time, what they feel they can offer may only be a small portion of them. And they're wondering if that is enough to make this person commit, stick with them, so that they can have their Ten of Cups. They're wondering if this person is going to see this offer as legit because the next portion of your reading is saying dirty offer in reverse so they know 1808 on the timer they know that you may see or feel like they're not being legit with you whoever this is and it has them kind of sorted in their head i feel like they're gonna do it though i ain't gonna beat you i feel like they're gonna do it i'm here for it listen everything doesn't have to be big and outlandish it's the intent for me at this big age. I, well, it's been the intent for me for a long time, but you know, people have get, given me a lot of grand gestures and I'm just speaking to myself real quick. Like I said, I didn't come to hold y'all. And I gotta say, some of those grand gestures turned out to be pretty much malarkey. And in the back, I hear J. Cole. <laughs> Is it the real thing? Or is it just a one night stand? So this someone may have thought that it would just be a one night stand and they done fell in love, y'all. Y'all don't even see it with the moon out here. The songs that come on, the supposed to be on. What I hear is what I, I'm supposed to hear because when I'm talking and I'm channeling, I don't always hear. I, I can hear what spirit is telling me always, but I'm just saying. So that's for somebody particular. Spirit, tell me about the Six of Swords in reverse, Ego and Scorpio. And, you know, we do have this four of wands out here as well. Ooh, somebody might want a family with you because these is eggs in this nest, baby. Or y'all may already have a family. I don't know. But somebody's protective. Look how this, this bird is looking over everybody. It's up there. I like that. Okay, Spirit, tell us about the six of swords in reverse with Ego and Scorpio. About this four of wands. For my Virgo loves. Okay, well, they don't want to have it. 
I was about to say now. Oh, the Knight of Swords. Okay, so somebody is coming in. They've been strategic. They're being strategic about this offer. So tell me about the Knight of Swords. You know, the, the uh, Swords are analytical. All right, y'all. I'm going to drop this card. How many times are we going to get the moon? You don't see this happening. It's with the moon again, baby. You don't know when because the universe don't want you to know. Stop being nosy. <laughs> oh, y'all. All right, spirit. Intuitively, you know, baby. And then we got cancer down there. We got cancer. We got Scorpio. We got Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We got, we got everything out here, y'all. We do. We really do. Now, some people say, <clears throat> some people say the moon is Cancerian and Piscean. In this deck, it's just Cancer. In that deck, it is whatever it is. But a lot of days, I'm going to tell y'all, it's both. Because Pisces are psychics. But Cancers are very, very intuitive. We feel things even when we don't see or know. We got a deep knowing in our bodies, in our minds, in our heart, and in our soul. So, take whatever part resonates with you. But I feel like it could be both Cancerian and Piscean because we do got a lot of water out here. There's a lot of a lot of emotion. I see a lot of blue, y'all. A lot of blue. Spirit, tell me about the moon. Am I supposed to know about the moon? Okay, evidently I am. The three of swords. Okay. This person may have disappointed you, or you may they may think you'll be disappointed. Body. Okay, Spirit, tell me more about this Three of Swords. Oh, the Queen of Cups. Cancerian. Baby, there's so much Cancerian, Cancerian energy. Water energy. Okay. Okay, y'all. 22, 22 on the timer. Now, I just told y'all, the Moon, Cancerian. The Queen of Cups is right under it. Cancerian. Somebody. I don't feel like. I feel like they have two minds. They want to know. They're, they're wondering if this Queen of Cups knows. That they want to make this offer. Or that they're even taking so long to make this offer. Is what I'm feeling. And then there's that other side where they're like, I haven't made the offer yet because it's I don't feel like it's big enough. Mm. Y'all, whoever just says get out your head, baby. The universe is on your side. What I said, <laughs> what I said, ace of cups, it's love, it's big love, baby. It's new big love. At the bottom of the deck, somebody is manifesting, and I feel like it's both of y'all. And then we got the seven of wands. Okay, now you somebody may have been standing their ground, right? But I feel like there are some things that are changing behind the scenes for this situation to unfold. It is going to unfold in divine timing because there's a lot of aspects, a lot of parts to this that are hidden. Even Scorpio is about secrets, baby. But the the ultimate, it may lead to some some kind of stable commitment. If you get out your head and get out your way, it could definitely lead to a stable commitment. But the Ace of Cups being your last card, baby, that, that's real love. That's big, true love. Look at these big fish on here, no? That's abundance. That is all kinds of abundance right there. This is somebody that don't, don't need to be saved. Because I hear J. Cole in the back saying she don't want to be saved. And that's why somebody in their head, they like, I got to have such and such and such and such because they used to dealing with a certain type of person. Now, what I'm going to tell you is this, baby. Please don't compare your future to your past. There's a reason the past is the past. And I feel led to say that to whoever that is because I think I said on another video and I did get some comments that some people, especially Cancerian water energy, we look at your intentions. Where where are you coming from? The communication matters. 
it's not always the grand gestures that gets a person. Do do people like them? Yeah. But at the end of the day, what did what did I feel with that grand gesture? Was it just something to do or was it genuinely felt like a two page handwritten letter? So somebody may be a writer. Somebody could even write songs. Someone may write poetry. Somebody may be good with words, baby, is what I'm feeling. For y'all, this is a beautiful reading, Virgo. And I, I definitely love this for y'all. So I do want y'all to continue to be thankful to the universe. Because this is somewhere in your energy. It's coming in. It, it has to be close. Keep doing your healing work. Stay uplifted. Take your spiritual baths. Pray. Talk to your ancestors your guides and listen you know meditate it's all gonna work out for you i wish you health wealth prosperity and abundance but above all baby i wish you love so until next time y'all i love you all